All right. Hi, I'm Susan Hennessy. Hi, everyone. I'm Bill Rich. So we are lucky enough to have been able to work with our, our Learning Lab Vermont cohort this year. Uh, both in person and then when we switched to remote learning. We asked folks if they'd be willing to share with us uh, a little bit about what uh, Learning Lab Vermont has been like for them for professional development and we'd like to share that, that information with you right now. So often professional development is, is sort of done to teachers in a sense and in this case I felt like I was put in the driver's seat and I got to choose the kind of PD that, that would really help me and help my teammates and so to have have these outside mentors to to just throw ideas by and to talk to and the support. Um, I, I, I can't say enough good things about that. We combined uh, the entire five, six um, staff group of teachers uh, to create um, a project-based learning environment for our students and we really needed some expertise. And to be able to network and collaborate and it, it's such a, I don't know, it's just so powerful to be able to hear from other teachers and, and just go in and, and just with that openness of sharing, like here's here's how we do things, and that you know if if you're attending these things anyway, it's because like Amanda said, you want to learn new things, you want to be able to just better your own practice and, and make things more engaging for your students in any way that you can, and it just provides the opportunity in a in a nice nicely structured way that you know fosters these connections between not only you know educators but with students as well. Learning happens in so many different ways and there are so many different ways to access learning um, and the more input you get from the kids the more engagement you're going to get and the more access you're going to gain um, and I think that's something through Learning Lab that I've learned a lot about. I also think that it's a place where you can explore um, something in your practice that you might not always have the time or the resources to explore. Say so one more thing about Learning Lab that I've really liked is that it's extended out over the whole year. Um, and I know sometimes with like summer professional development, you get really excited about these new things over the summer and then you get into your daily routine and it's hard to sustain that excitement. And I think the one thing I've appreciated about Learning Lab is the consistent check-ins with you and Susan. Um, as well as opportunities to meet with other educators through the cross-site visits and through online meetings and just um, having that be something that's going all year long so it continues to sort of push us to think about how we can better our practices. I think like any other course that you might take when this is uh, introduced at the start it could seem like a lot but the way that you and Susan have scaffolded this for us and and been really flexible and, and meeting us uh, where our needs are has been huge where we don't feel like you know the tasks are very daunting or something just doesn't fit right with what we're doing that you're so flexible in terms and and making it fit so it does work for us just how inclusive it is um anyone can show up and be welcomed quite warmly you guys have set up a you know a situation that it really, depending on your skill set, that it doesn't matter at all. It, it's a it's a big open tent, and um, come on in, meet others, and uh, you know, th th there's no, I don't know. You leave your baggage at the door, and it, I, I guess it, it's about laughter, love, and 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 just trying to do right for kids, and it's for all kids in Vermont, you know, and beyond. I think that's that's critical. 